product diversity means there's going to be different types of products and customization basically means there's going to be different types of products that we're making heterogeneity means there's different types of products and all that differentiation that we're talking about in these three different ways so these these three in other words could cancel each other out if we were to look at this in terms of just test taking skills we can probably say well those pretty much all look the same they can't all be right those must be gone and then the higher cost of inventory follows from the fact that they're all different in nature uh, because that'll be different than if they were all same in nature which would make it easy to produce and therefore cheaper so we're left with b high production volume and that that makes sense because um we can't have a high production we'll probably and again we're comparing this to a process cost system we're going to have a lower production volume because of all this diversity in production so all of our products are different in nature so when compared to a process cost system then it, we're not going to be able to make as many of them we're going to customize them make fewer of them hopefully charge more for them so final answer job costing system characteristics include all but b high production volume next question the production activities for a customized product is a accounts receivable b a job c a unit of production d finished goods or e a process let's go through this again the production activity for a customized product is a accounts receivable and now that one just doesn't sound right at all you know a production activities doesn't sound like accounts receivable so i'm going to cross that out b says a job and that's plausible because we're talking about a job cost system the production activities for a customized product so i'll keep that for now c says a unit of production um that's you know that's possible a unit of production i'll keep that for now d says finished goods the production activities for a customized product uh it it, it may not be finished goods because it's, it, it could be either type of inventory work in process or finished goods as we go so i'm not going to say it's probably not that finished goods is going to be the unit of all the goods finished but it's not really breaking out which units we're having which which units are owed to who it's just going to be grouped up in finished goods it's not the supporting documentation and then e says a process and again that you you could think of that that it would be part of a process i'll keep that for now let's go through it again the production activity for a customized product is now when we think of a, a customized product we're thinking about a job cost system probably not a process cost system so i think we can eliminate e here and then it's between a, a job and a unit of production now these two these two are kind of like the same thing right a unit of production is is what we're, one thing we're working on it sounds like but it's more specifically termed typically a job so a job i think this is most uh, likely the answer here that we're looking for uh, uh the, the unit of protection being the job so final answer the production activities for a customized product is b a job